All right, welcome everyone. Today we are joined by someone who studied here in the United States and became a data scientist. We will talk more about it uh, in detail. So please introduce yourself. Uh, hi, my name is Anmol and I just recently graduated from USC with a joint master's and hmm. now I work as a data scientist in a unicorn startup. I don't think that's as interesting as he said it, but let's go into it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Anmol, why you chose University of Southern California? I mean, so cliche university, everyone applies to it. Why did you decide to go for USC? USC, Stanford University of Spoiled Children and I had ah. so much money, I had to throw it somewhere. So USC. You had so much money? I didn't know about that. <laughs> awesome. Hey. <Anyways. laughs> so, so seriously, um, the yeah. reason I applied to USC was uh, my story for applying was different. I actually wanted to do something in entertainment management, which is mm-hmm. what USC is renowned for because you have like Shah Rukh Khan's son and Anand Schwarzenegger's daughter. And Wait, you're, you're comparing yourself to Shah Rukh Khan's son? <laughs> no, but... Am I right? It means that it's a good school for entertainment and... Yeah, but you're comparing yourself to Shah Rukh Khan's son. No. <laughs> did, did you study with him? He was my junior. He was your junior? Yeah. The, the way he says it, I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, go ahead. So... But the actual reason was it's a well-reputed university for entertainment. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And when I came here, uh, the aim was to do something in management. But then two problems happened. Um, Indian banks actually don't stem non-stem uh, fund non-stem degrees, hmm. which mine was right, a okay. non-stem degree. And the second one was getting a job as an international student in entertainment is very hard, which I didn't expect back in India. Hmm. So then I came here. I applied to a lot of other colleges again, and fortunately, I got selected into USC again. And I started off with doing two masters, okay. but my university was ki- kind enough to let it be a joint master. So mm-hmm. that's how I did two of joint masters. You got it. Uh, okay, so uh, my spoiled children, can you just tell me how much it costs to study at USC? Okay, so the cost that I'm going to give you is for two masters, uh, 60 grand, mm-hmm. which I know seems like a lot, but for someone doing Who a... Who is very rich, it's not a lot. <laughs> but for doing a joint master's, I mean, it's fair, like, if you're studying mm-hmm. at USC. So, uh, you became a data scientist yeah. after doing an entertainer course. How did that Management, happen? Yeah. So, um, to be very honest, I was like, hey, if I'm going to do a second master, let me make some money off of it. And, like, data scientist... So, you are a gold digger. I was a gold digger. <laughs> so yeah, data science, like I researched and I like, all right, this pays the most. And mm. my first class, but I was completely lost when I joined data science. I didn't mm-hmm. know what it actually was. Mm-hmm. Um, and to be, let me tell you how lost I was. Like when I joined, first class was machine learning by this very famous professor at right. USC. And then when I come out, my friend goes like, wow, what a class. And I was like, huh, it's all right. And then he goes like, why you didn't like it? I said, well, there was nothing practical. And then he goes like, what were you expecting? What were I was you like, expecting? A machine, you code it, it moves. Oh, <laughs> like, it's supposed to do something. And that's my first comment on machine learning. That's how lost I was. So your idea of data science was, or machine learning was from uh, movies and cartoons? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Are you drinking vodka on my interview? No. If you're a real software engineer or a techie, you drink LaCroix. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why choose data science? Like. Uh, well, as you know, data science is like the sexiest job of the 21st century if you read Forbes. It's the sexiest job of 21st century? Yes. Then why are you single? <laughs> Next question, please. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, that's great. Uh, so, um, I mean, I think a lot of my audience, they don't care about uh, those things, like your data scientists and all those things. What they care mostly about is like how much you make as a data scientist. They're also gold diggers, right? <laughs> so yeah, how much do you make as a data scientist? It depends, right? Like, so there's no one range that I can give and that would be accurate because now what has happened is to attract a lot of talent, everything which is related to data now gets categorized as data scientist. So companies do it to like attract talent. Okay. So it depends what subdomain of data science you're in. And then what industry are you in and then location for sure. Right. Um, just to elaborate, like first location will matter. You learn way more in SFO than you would earn in LA, right? And then data science has become so broad, like you could be a business analyst and you might be working under the term data scientist. Or right. you could be this PhD researcher mm-hmm. who did his PhD in, let's say, deep learning and you would still be categorized as a data scientist. So right. it depends which domain you are yeah. in. For example, like the f- highest 
salary right out of campus in data science is given to generally data engineers okay and again domain tech companies pay more and non tech companies don't pay as much consulting pays even less so it depends if you are in a non tech more consulting arena you will earn anywhere between 69 to 90000 dollars okay. if you're in a non tech company anywhere between 70 to 100 and if you're in a tech company anywhere between 90 to 120 as uh, a fresh base salary that's like almost uh, 70 lakhs to 1 crore rupees yeah base salary and then you can if your company gives you rsu options it's or something more. like that it's way more yeah so uh, i mean uh, any tips on if people, someone wants to go for data scientist position where, where yeah. which colleges to apply for yeah. if you made any mistakes like how to become a data scientist yeah like the biggest challenge for me when i was like trying to get into data science was being so lost that what does it actually mean and then mm-hmm. i realized i am not the only person who is lost like a lot of people who have actually studied data science also are themselves lost okay the reason it is is so broad right you could be um, doing data yeah. engineering stuff you could be doing data analysis stuff you could be a data science re- researcher or a product researcher right you're throwing all these complicated words just to confuse us and show us that you are really smart <laughs> but i have my doubts <laughs> uh but the point coming back to the point the point is that first identify what do you actually want to do within data science if it is data engineering big data engineering or business analytics or business data science stuff right mm-hmm. first identify that second identify the people who have already done that and kind of see what courses they took right. and what do they actually do on the job right and now if all these three things are that you something that you like and you have access to or can get access to that's how you start getting into the field of data science because it's so broad mm-hmm. but the basics remain the same everywhere so you can start off doing the basics while you figure it out I mean yeah on a serious note he's like a really good data scientist I have worked Thanks. with him in my current company Thanks. and uh, just like uh, you should learn from him what he's thinking about and how you can become a data scientist by the way like as you said data science science is like actually a buzzword people are yeah, using it, it to is. find talent Definitely. and everything so uh, what were your expectations and what is the reality like what people think about it and what is actually the reality yeah so the first time that i actually applied for data science jobs were at google right and mm-hmm. my first company was google that i interviewed for data science so right off the bat my threshold was oh shit i need a phd okay um and that's true but that's true only for such a small subset of company that you're going to be applying to right if it is a tech and in tech it's a research position then you need a phd there it makes sense right, right. because you're tweaking algorithms uh, or concepts at their base level mm-hmm. but other than that i think master students can also do a good job in data science okay uh, but it's definitely a buzzword like if you could be a business analyst and you would come under data science you could be a hardcore data engineer and not do anything um and still be called a data scientist mm-hmm. and data science is not just restricted to machine learning or deep learning that right. is just one small aspect of stuff there are so many other aspects that never get spoken about because that's not seen as like sexy or complicated right makes sense so yeah it's definitely a buzzword yeah so to like do all those things that he said that i don't get at all or just like go do a joint program learn something else but you feel bad and you want to make more money become a gold digger and get a sign the job in data science so uh yeah two ways to do it by the way uh, as i said like he's actually a really good data engineer and um, uh, he data scientist data scientist sorry i'm i'm so sorry <laughs> oh. no data scientists data engineers are good people too i work yeah. with them a lot yeah Don't but they are they are already offended so you can beat him up as much as you want whenever you want yeah so um he is a, he is a good data scientist i can say that because he makes a lot of optimization when it comes to credit cards which bank accounts to use which will give you more interest which uh, stock application to use if you want to invest in stocks i mean optimization everything he just got a car and like optimize there also we'll talk more about later but he also makes youtube channel uh, he also has a youtube channel where he makes videos on uh, a lot of different stuff i think you can you can tell more about uh, that yeah um and my channel name is anmol sabla tech talk where i talk about um first that, is, that all, is so creative right i mean anmol sabla tech talk <laughs> i like to keep things simple uh so yeah i make a lot lazy. Of, <laughs> lazy. Uh, the reason i um so the channel basically helps a students who want to get into tech are traveling from abroad international students and just make a career for yourself on the west coast where more the tech field is based mm. so i it's going to be a mix of like a lot of information and entertaining content that hopefully i'll put out in the future and i try to post at least once a week 
at least once a week. I try. <laughs> I try. Okay, I try. <laughs> right. So yeah, go. Uh, link is in the description. Go uh, watch his channel. It's a Mool Chawla Tech Talk. By the way, there is a part two of this uh, video where he is actually interviewing me about being a software engineer in Los Angeles, and uh, his questions are very creative and very different, unlike the name and Mool Chawla Tech Talk. By the way, any uh, connection to Juhi Chawla? <laughs> See <you> later. <laughs> All right that's so that's it so uh, go enjoy yourself bye <laughs>